No, I just I actually text my friend about that. My old roommate. I was saying like we we're talking. We we're like, we remember like the wet how the weather is right now. How nice it is. So it's so nice. We remember like doing homework outside, going to play frisbee, or like just kind of you know doing anything, grilling outside, doing something. Yeah. yeah. And then also miss practices. This weather's perfect. That's why we're going out today. Nope. Um, but I was actually talking to. Uh... A friend of mine who just talked like reminiscing college like experiences mm-hmm. and actually kind of thought of that as like a topic we can bring up. Do you guys ever like look back and like those were fun times? Like any certain moments or even those moments were like they're awkward kind of moments. Like I've had plenty of those at college, but you just look back at it like, okay, that's funny. Every day. Every day. Well, because I talked to because I would e- I would easily like right now, I'd easily just go back to college. No, none of the actual like schooling, college, the stress and all that stuff. None of that. Yeah. The actual like hanging out with friends, friends, drinking, going to the bars, that stuff. That stuff. Oh, yeah, 100%. A hundred percent. I would still go back to school. Even just r- randomly, just randomly, we would just, uh, we get done classes on Fridays, but like at the latest thing I ever got done class on Friday was like three. After three, we'd just bad. go around and just venture We'd find a random road and go like, "Oh, where does that road go?" And we just take it. <laughs> I mean, like, love it, love it. I don't think anyone would say no to that. If you said, I'll "Oh give no," you, if, the world, if the government said, "I'll give you one year to go back to college," I think every single person in the entire mm-hmm. universe would do it. Absolutely. Our parents would. I think everybody would. Yeah. I actually sort of also enjoyed my senior year academics. Yeah, you no, know, I my junior and senior year did. academics, I like them. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I was actually doing stuff I was I actually wanted. Like all those classes were like, okay, I signed up for these because I want to do these classes. It wasn't like, mm-hmm. okay, you have to do these G twos, G threes, you have to think from these sort of things. Like, well, I don't want to like just give me what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Or like also like my senior year, I had a lot of like flexibility because there's like three out of my five classes in my spring semester, th- three of them I could choose what I wanted to do. Yeah. That was me. Like I started mind. to keep I started to keep them inside my my major. But mm-hmm. I had a plethora of things to choose from. And so it wasn't okay. like, okay, this is boring. So it was like I had the, the three of my five classes, I chose what I wanted to do. And I enjoyed every single class. And same, nice. same actually as my fall, I did the same thing. Not I quite chose. the same, but I kind of did that. I had to fill in like credit hours or whatever, but because I already finished yeah. everything major wise and everything. So but I just took uh, see, classes I mean, that I ever thought were easy or stuff that I was just interested in doing. And those easier ones, I may not, I may have missed a couple of classes because, you know, senioritis. Yeah, it, it, that, I'll get you. I don't think I skipped that many classes, to be honest. I, I surprisingly. I use my, I use my university skills, but that's really about it. I didn't skip out like because well, also you guys were better students than I were. Was yeah, each each you, 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 we had university skips, so you had like two yeah. allotted, three allotted skips for the semester. Sometimes it's oh, okay. the professor or whatever, but it's usually like two or yeah. three. Oh, I, I'm with you. Yeah, now, yeah. So like I use those, or like I missed a couple because of like concussion, but mm-hmm. I still would go to class. I just I would mainly just go to class. I wouldn't do anything. I just kind of sit there and just like. Or we have those classes where it's like a lecture, but they don't take attendance. So. Oh yeah. You know, all my yeah. all my classes yeah. took attendance. Every single one, Easter. even if it was a large one, we had to go and write yeah. our names in. Yeah, that's the worst. Mm-hmm. Well, and I've had just... I've had like night classes where like they wouldn't they would take attendance twice just in case someone sneaks out because it's like three hours that's long. Smart. Yeah. So you take a break, then they come back, then they do that is smart, attendance though. again just yeah. in case somebody left. Most of the time, yeah, also, somebody left. <laughs> yeah, everyone left, but like the also the issue is like think about like we're putting this into like some ethnicity here. You're two white boys. I'm an Asian. Thank you. Like, yeah, I think you'd notice if, you're, if an Asian kid was there. You know? Anyway, um, but I'm, just, we, I'm we, just saying I can say that because I'm Asian. Yeah, but I'm saying though, what, what's okay. called, uh, what, what, <laughs> what you could, what you could have always done though is like if it's like one of those big classes, like because I, I a couple of my friends did did this like, yo, can you sign me in? I'm just not coming. Like, yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, like that's also that's what I was like referring to as being Asian, like. If you know me, like you're, I'm clearly not there. Even if my name is signed, like it's kind of obvious. Oh God! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of obvious. Also, like nearing like my senior year, all the professors I had fall in, in the spring, I had at one point. Oh, so that yeah, 
So they, so even if it was even if it was like a fifty person class, they knew me. Yeah, yeah. So I couldn't be like, peace, yeah, (laughs) not be there. They all knew who I was or had a vague idea who I was. Like, uh, and guess what? Brian's not here today. What what else is new? That was usually how my major classes were. Like the like those classes, they knew who you were because most of the times you had like the same like three professors. Yep. Yeah. But if you did any other like class that was like part of your elective. I may have skipped or just one or two. We also, or three, we all three of us went to like a, a smaller school. We went to like a medium sized school. Yeah. So yep. our class sizes were still like 30 kids. But because of this, since kids. I went to Bloomsburg, there was no block party this year. Oh, yeah. yeah that was I was up at the, I was the day there. I was there for the block party last year. I had a game. So I, was I was there for four years. There. Yeah. It was a fun time. I've been. I went to one. It was a fun mm-hmm. time. Yeah, they're fun time. It was a good time. Mm-hmm. I want what, so the one. The one time I did go, we were walking in the crowd. Someone tossed a beer can at my head, and I chucked it right back into the crowd. I was not happy. Jeff had a fun. Time. The quest. I did. <laughs> wait, why? Wait, why didn't I go up there? Because you, you, you invited me too. I can't remember. I, I don't know. I don't know why you went up there. Didn't go. Because it was two hours away. I, no, no, do you know what I think it was? Cause I think it was like, because... Um, I'm sure you were invited. Because one, one of your friends was up there. I think definitely wanted to hang out with her. It was, I don't know rugby? anyone up there. What's up? Rugby, maybe? That was last, that was last year. Yeah, that was last year. That was last year. I had a weird tournament was during block party. You invited me to 20, 2017 or whatever, 2018, but I just couldn't go. I was in PA. I knew that. I think. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. But um, here's a question: Will you guys go back to those like, kind of events now? Um. It it, de- it depends because, yeah. so like for example, um, it was uh like my first uh my first homecoming as an alumni i went to that uh back in october yeah, I did that. uh 2018 uh for easy and, and that was a lot of fun I, I got to catch up with all my old friends and everything plus it was nice because uh i had a place to stay because i had you know still some friends who were graduating like in december and everything or like the the uh, that spring or yeah that spring so i no matter what i had a place to stay and it was just nice just to kind of hang out and everything yeah, I don't know if I would be. Yeah, I, I don't. The last people I know that go to Bloom are graduating like a week or two. So. Right. Okay. Yeah, like, I have like a one friend after. Sorry if you heard dogs in the dark background. I did. I did. I, did. Yeah, I hear them. Oh, that's right. I got... Speak. Yeah. Um, speaking of dogs, my brother and his girlfriend are getting a dog. Oh, I love dogs. They're getting a corgi. Uh, oh, so I love corgis. No. Corgis are so, amazing. They're so adorable. Right for this dude. Oh my god. I'm so yeah, I'll dog. I'll dog They're naming I'll dog him soon. Waffles. Was that, that dog better. in a seatbelt? I gotta check. <laughs> I mean, Jeff doesn't know. Is it a picture? <laughs> no comment. Anyway, um, but no. That's awesome. Waffles is a great name. Mm-hmm. 